Hey, happy Thursday. It is raining here in Rexburg. So I hope wherever you are, the weather's a bit better. Anyway, last weekend, it was Jason and I's first anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> So in honor of us making it to a year of marriage, I thought I would tell you guys just a little bit about our wedding day and everything that transpired, all the ups and downs. Don't get me wrong, it was the greatest day of my entire life. Um, but we did, of course, have hiccups, which are to be expected. Hiccup number one. My parents drove, they live in Idaho, and we were getting married in Arizona because that's where a lot of family was, and it was warmer and nicer, so awkward, some guys just walked by. Anyway, um, so my parents had to drive down, and my mom, in packing everything, she had a separate bag of her dress, her shoes for the wedding, and my dad's suit. And that was the only thing that they forgot. But luckily, they were able to go to the store and buy her new dress, new shoes, and my dad was able to rent a tux. So, easy problem to fix. Hiccup number two, my dad was insanely sick. He had some kind of stomach bug, so the entire weekend he was just throwing up and having an upset stomach, and it was just miserable. But because my dad is the most amazing person in the entire world, he still grinned and bared through it all, and was still just such a champ for having, probably just wanting to lay in bed, but instead he DJed for us, and of course, we had our daddy-daughter dance, which was amazing. And I actually, little side note on that, um, I picked the song Cinderella, and I can't remember who it's by, but I'll link it below if you want to know it. Um, so we were just chatting while we're dancing, and it's perfect and beautiful. And the last, like, ten seconds of the song, I just start bawling because, you know, I love my dad more than anybody else, and... It was a very, very sweet moment, and I was so hoping that we wouldn't have any tears, but we did. So, really grateful for my dad for sticking it out, even though he was just so sick all weekend. Hiccup number three was pretty funny. So, I was also, I had just gotten over being sick, but mine was just more of a sore throat, and so by the time we got down to Arizona, my voice was completely gone. And I've never lost my voice that badly before. It was completely gone, and I still had a little bit of a scratchy voice, um, or a scratchy throat, like a tickle in my throat. But otherwise, I felt totally fine. Um, so I wasn't feeling sick or sneezy or anything. My voice was just gone. So our wedding day, we're getting ready in the morning, and we got married in the early afternoon. And while we're um, waiting... Because if you guys have ever been to a Mormon wedding, you have a special room you go into and you kind of sit in the front and you s I sat down and Jace was here and then my mom was here and his mom was here and then our dads were on the other side facing us. And then the guy performing our wedding, he's called a sealer, he kind of stands in the middle and um, talks to us for a bit. And we had all of our friends and family on the sides of this room. And right before we walked in, I was having a bit of a coughing fit. I just had this tickle in my throat and I couldn't get, get it out. And I was trying to drink some water and because I didn't want to be coughing through our entire wedding ceremony. So this really, really sweet old man who also worked in the temple walks over to me and he's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I was like, um, oh my gosh, those guys walked by again. So awkward. Um... So he comes over and he's like, are you okay? Like, do you need a cough drop? And I was like, I would love a cough drop. And in my mind, like, cough drops to me are, like, candy. 
Like I hate the really gross cough drops. So he gives me this cough drop and I just like quickly like throw it in my mouth as we're walking in the room to our ceremony. And it doesn't hit me till I sit down and we begin that the taste actually like hits my mouth. It's disgusting. They keep walking by. Anyway, it's disgusting. It's the worst cough drop, cough drop I have ever tasted in my entire life. Like, it must have just been whatever cough drops are made out of, like cough syrup or something. I don't know, but it had no flavor except death. It was disgusting. So we're sitting there and I'm trying not to like, I'm trying to get this like stuck to my cheek, like out, but there's nothing I can do. Like I can't just get up and run out of the room to spit it out. So I'm just sitting there. It's really hard to pay attention to what the sealer is saying because it's just so gross. So I glance over, my mom is sitting on my left, my husband that I'm being married to is on my right, but I look over at my mom, she has tissues because mothers are always prepared. So I lean over to her and I'm like, hey, I need a tissue. And so she like hands me one and she's probably thinking like, oh, like my sweet daughter, she's having a moment, like this is such a special day. No, I was dying of this stupid cough drop. So I quickly, like, because everybody knows I'm kind of sick, I'm still, my voice is still gone. So I kind of like put the tissue up and I like <laughs> spit the cough drop out, wrap it up in that little tissue and like tuck it into my hands and just hold on to it. Cause I could not take another second of that disgusting cough drop. And then the moment like the ceremony is done, it was, it really was beautiful. It was a very, very beautiful ceremony. Um, you know, having your best friend sitting next to you having all of your friends and family around you, having your dad look at you and get to sit across from you so he can see you. It was just the most amazing special day of my entire life. Um, but that cough drop was awful. And so after the ceremony was done, I got to go change and like get flowers put in my hair because um, I had a little flower crown and um, get all ready, like get my makeup touched up, and the moment I walked out of there, chucked that cough drop so far, like into the trash, got all dolled up, and then went out, and the rest of the day was great. But that was probably the worst part <laughs> of anything. So after that whole fiasco with the cough drop, which really doesn't, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But when your day was so perfect otherwise, you know, it's just a funny little thing. Um, and he was such a sweet old man. But anyway, I don't want you guys to at all get the wrong idea. My wedding day was absolutely wonderful. That whole weekend was amazing. And um, I'm just loving life. I love being married. I love my family and I love... Now my new family, my in-laws, um, they're all really amazing people. So to prove to you just how amazing that day was, um, I will be starting a slideshow of just all the, not all of the pictures, because there were a lot, but all my favorite pictures from our wedding. Um, and just to show you guys how good it was and that really, even though we did have a few hiccups, it still was the best day ever. So, happy anniversary, Jace, and I hope you guys like the pictures.